seems like forever before I had an opportunity to get over and do this car. This is a uh, 2018 Camaro uh, RS. And um, this is, if you're new to Camaros, this is uh, the sixth part of the sixth generation. Um, it's kind of the entry level. It's kind of the higher end entry level Camaro. Um, one of the big things over the last generation for Camaro was they uh, wanted to make the car a little smaller. It's six inches smaller over the fifth generation. And the most important thing, why I wanted to do this car was, is there's an added engine choice for the sixth generation. And this has got the two liter turbo in it. And the car kind of gets, you know, like the six, it even gets more hate on it because it's got a two liter turbo in it. So we're going to go over this today. Of course, this is in the pull me over race red, uh, which is a popular color with police, as we all know. But great car. I want to get out and do this for you guys. So let's get into it. So when this car came out in 2016, they didn't really change the look of the car for the first couple of years. This is an 18. They didn't change the nose uh, or the back end on the mid-cycle refresh of 2019. And, and some of you, uh, I know, like the 19 front end. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but then with all the pushback, GM decided to change it again in 2020. So uh, I'm a big fan of this front end. I, I, I like the look of this on the, on the front end of these cars. Um, this has got the upgraded 20-inch LA wheels on it, which is part of the RS package. Of course, it's in the Pull Me Over Race Red, which all the cops love. And I can tell you, I've owned a red car. And uh, they do like to pull you over when you own a red car. So, again, RS package. Um, really well-set-up car, um, you know, for somebody who doesn't want to go over the top and just wants a good cruiser or something. This would be a great car, right? Great gas mileage. Um, the big thing with this thing would be the maintenance and the oil changes because of the turbo. You're going to want to, um, you're going to want to stay on top of the oil changes, do your oil changes every 5k because of the direct injection and the turbo turbos don't like dirty oil. And I've some of the feedback I've gotten from the channel. Uh, some of the guys have mentioned that they've gotten some pretty big power out of these cars with the turbo. And if you look back into the nineties, I mean, this car would, would, well compete against a car in the 90s i don't know if it would beat it overall but it would certainly give it a good run for its money it probably take it off the line in a drag race but well set up car so if you're going to get a two liter turbo like this and you're just going to like drive it and not modify it make sure you stay on top of your maintenance oil changes and whatnot so of course it's got the great camaro badges on the side and we'll go around to the other side here and uh this car is actually for sale. I want to thank Tom Smith for helping us out with this. Uh, so if you're interested, um, it is for sale. So um, I didn't get a I didn't get an RPO um, a build sheet with this thing, so I can't tell you what's in it. But um, you know what? It's not. It, it's it's fairly loaded. You know, it doesn't just doesn't have a leather, but um, it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You know, it's got, it does have the smaller, it does have the smaller screen in it, but, and it doesn't have the big eight inch cluster, but that's okay. You know, this is, like I said, this is a step up on an entry level car and you know what? It's a pretty decent car. I, I don't know that I would own a two liter, uh, just because I'm not, I don't have a lot of faith in the turbos. I did, and when we bought our Sonic, I didn't buy it with a turbo. So, you know, but I was pretty amazed at how well this car got out of its way when you hit the throttle on. So we're going to go for a drive and before we finish up this video, but this was just a quick one because I hadn't had an opportunity to do uh, a two liter turbo and wanted to get one on the channel for you guys. So we fired this thing up here and um, because it's a lower end entry model uh, RS, it doesn't have the big eight inch screen uh, as the higher trim levels will but you know what it's still a decent car it's got enough information there um, that you can um, that you can work through it'll tell you you know this has got the g-force meter in which i don't remember them all having um you know it's uh it's decent right um fuel economy because this is a two liter you know you'll get like you know 
35 miles of the gallon in this thing. I mean, it is just an awesome cruiser. If you're not looking for high end power or whatnot, and you just want a good cruising car, you know, like I said, this would be the one, right? Um, 5.4, um, liters per hundred kilometers works out to like something like, yeah, 36, 37 miles to the gallon. Uh, again, got the Apple, um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I don't like the interface on this older generation. I like the way the newer ones have gone in, uh, I believe it's 19 or 20 and up. Um, but decent, uh, decent interface. It doesn't, um, you know, it's, it's a little older, right? But it, it'll do the job. Again, this has got a seven inch screen, doesn't have the bigger inch screen. So let's go for a rep in this thing and I'll give you my thoughts as to what I think. So, um, this, uh, this car, uh, you get a little bit of lag in the two liters, but I really do like how, uh, how, you know, all these cars seem to handle really well, even for an entry level car, which I will give GM a lot of credit. Um, I don't know why. You know, they brought this car out to compete with, like, the Genesis and the Mustang uh, EcoBoost at the time. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get my camera secure here. But um, that's why I believe they brought out the 2-liter. And because of the because of the calf laws, they needed to have so many uh, four-cylinders uh, in, the, in their fleet. And this kind of answered the bell to compete. Obviously, with the EcoBoost, it did it, and the high new Genesis was another one. So, personally, I think out of the out of the three cars, I I do think and believe that this is the better of the three. And I'm not saying that because I am, you know, prejudiced to Camaro, which I am, but this is more, um, this is a more refined car. Even though I'm not thrilled with. Some of the lower in interior, I kind of gave it a bad rap in the beginning, and I am going to walk that back a little bit. Um, you know, this is a this is a good car for somebody who wants to go out, you know, and just daily drive it. If you're in that climate where you can daily drive it, and uh, you know, and not have to deal with the snow and whatnot, and just or just take it out on a weekend for a good cruise. This is a good cruiser car, right? So. Like I said, it will uh, it will give you a great fuel economy. You know, 30 miles 30 miles per gallon plus. Um, really impressed with the pep in this car. Again, don't forget, guys, this is a four cylinder, two liter turbo, and this thing is not afraid to get out of its way. The thing handles really well, and. Uh, just a great car for a budget performance entry level car, right? Over 30 miles to the gallon, 275 horse, just a lot of pluses to this car, and it handles like it's on rails. It is extremely a well handling car uh, for something that you would expect in a higher up trim, right? All these cars, they all handle really well. Um, they, um, I don't, you know, it's, it's really too bad that the poor visibility part is what hampers these cars because it's not the performance. It's not the performance at all. The performance of these cars is, uh, you know, is way better uh, than its competition. I will say for sure that when they brought this car out in 2016, it was to compete with the EcoBoost and the uh, Hyundai Genesis. And, you know, I will say it's it's the best of the three. And, and not because I'm, you know, pro Camaro or whatever. It's just because I believe it is a better performance car. Now, have I driven a Hyundai Genesis? No. Have I driven an EcoBoost Mustang? Yes. It is definitely better than a Mustang. I've never driven a, a Genesis, but I will tell you that... Uh, it is way better than the, uh, bring this down a little bit. It is way better than a Mustang, and, which is a direct competitor, right? But I mean, just the thing just handles like it's on rails. And, 
very impressed with the performance. Corners really well. And uh, just very happy with this car. And we don't want to beat on this car. This is a used car that they have. It's got it's only got 25,000 kilometers on it. And um, it is um, it is still like new. This for uh, for a budget car handles really well. Very happy with it. Um, anyways, just want to uh, pack things up here. We're just pulling back into the dealer. I want to thank Tom Smith for their hospitality and letting us use this car as they do with all the ones they get. We're going to come back and I think we're going to take this V6 uh, convertible out that we never got an opportunity to do. Um, it's uh, it's a one of six car, guys. Um, as we learned from our friends at Camaro Cave, that 2024 build is one of six. So if you're interested, give Nick at Tom Smith a call. Guys, really appreciate all support for the channel. That's it for this one for today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It's free. It don't cost nothing. Really appreciate everybody's support. Hit that like button for us. It really helps us out. We're going to get more content out for you guys. Work has just been absolutely bananas. And I haven't had a lot of time uh, to get some stuff done. But uh, we're going to get more stuff out. So stay tuned. Like I said, we're going to try and take that white car out pretty soon. But... Uh, until we see you again, guys, take care.